Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Summer Hills at Home Activities, Nature Part 3. Today I have woken up and it's raining outside. Our session today is all about water and animals. First we'll start with a game called Who is in the box? Who, who, who is in the box? Who will we see first? It's a duck. Quack, quack. Where do ducks live? In ponds, in rivers. Fantastic. Who, who, who is in the box? Okay. This is a creature that flies. It's a butterfly. Who, who, who is in the box? Look at this. It's a fish and who, who, who is in the box? Wow, it's a different type of fish called a starfish. Starfish. Who, who, who is in the box? Let's have a look. This is a bird. And the last creature or animal, let's see who it is. Who, who, who is in the box? Uh oh, it's a scary animal. It's a shark. So we found lots of different animals in the who box. I am going to choose two of the animals. I think I will choose the duck and the fish, okay? Duck and fish. And I am going to draw what's called a Venn diagram. Here we go. So we need two big circles. Two big circles and we write duck above one and fish above the other. Okay, we're going to think about how the duck and the fish are the same. Can you think of one thing? How are the duck and the fish the same? Yeah, because they like to go in water or they live in water okay so in the middle i am going to write live in water can you see live in water so that is how the duck and the fish are the same now let's think about how they are different so let's think about a duck what does a duck look like it has a beak two wings and feathers. I'll write that in here. A beak, two wings and the last one was feathers. A beak, two wings and feathers. What about a fish? 
Does a fish have a beak? No. Okay, so no beak, but it has a mouth. Okay, a mouth. Does it have wings like the duck? No, it doesn't, you're right. It has something beginning with to help it swim. You've got it, fins. Okay, fins. And the last one, feathers. Does a fish have feathers? No, silly me. What does a fish have? It's made of scales. Okay. There we go. So we have drawn a Venn's diagram for duck and fish. They're the same because they live in water, but they are different because a duck has a beak, two wings and feathers and a fish has a mouth, fins and scales. Fantastic. Let's move on to our water activity. Over here I have got three different types of water. Have a look. Okay. Put them back on the table so you can see. Okay, so three different types of water. But I am thinking, where did the water come from? I wonder where did the water in each bottle come from? I think we should find out. Are you ready? Okay, I think first we will choose the dark blue bottle. Okay, you have to help me by saying Kirsty pour the water. Ready? Kirsty pour the water. Go! Splish, splash. The water came from the sea. The water came from the sea. And the next one, how about this one? The clear bottle. Okay. Where did this water come from? Let's have a look. Is it from the sea? What do we need to say? Kirsty, pour the water. Ready? Splash, splash, splash. Wow. It's not from the sea. Look at that. This water came from clouds. It's rainwater. Rainwater. Can you see all of the raindrops? And the last one is this light green bottle. So far we have had seawater and we've had rainwater. Where could this water come from? Let's find out. I'm excited to find out if this is more seawater or something different. 
ready. Kirsty, pour the water. Slowly, here we go. It's not seawater. Look. It's water from a river. Wow, it's water from a river. So we have found water from the sea, water from rain and water from a river. They are different types of water. I think we need to add more to the water. So for the rain clouds, I think we need a big cloud. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at that. It's a big rain cloud and droplets of water are coming down. I'm gonna put that one over here. Okay, next is the, well done, river water. What would we find near a river? Yeah, we might find leaves and trees. So let's put this tree in next to the river. There we go. And what about the sea? What do we find near the sea? We might find trees. I've got something in my mind. What do we like to play with and build castles with? That's right. And we have finished with the water. Why don't we add some animals and see who lives where? Ready? Okay. This is a game of who lives where. I will need you to help me decide which animals or which creatures go where? Ready? Okay, let's move this out of the way so we've got a little bit more space. First is the animal that starts with a shh. It's the shark. Do we find sharks coming out of rain clouds? No. Do we find sharks in rivers? Absolutely not. You got it. We find sharks in the sea. Okay, who lives where? Who is next? This star uh, animal starts with a d, 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 d. That's right, it's the duck. Wah, wah. Okay, do we find ducks? flying in rain clouds. You might do sometimes. Do we see them in rivers? Yes, a lot of the time. We see them in rivers and in ponds and in streams. There we go. 
who lives where? Okay, I am thinking about a creature who has wings and this creature also has antennae. That's right, the butterfly. The butterfly has wings and antennae. Okay, where do we find butterflies? Butterflies land on trees and they fly in the sky. Okay, so I'm going to put the butterfly here in the rain. We've got three left, so who lives where? Let's think about a fish. Hmm. Where would we put the fish? I am thinking the fish could go in the river or in the sea. What do you think? You think, okay, so we will put the fish in the river. There we go. With the duck. Okay, who lives where? We've only got two left. We have got the bird and the starfish. Here is the bird. Hmm. Birds are very clever because they can actually fly to lots of different places. Where do you think we should put the bird? I think, yes. In the sky? Mm-hmm. So birds could live in trees and they could live in rivers. They probably live in the sky most of the time. There we go. And the last one is the starfish. I have a question for you. Have you ever seen a starfish in the sky? No, that's a star. This is a starfish. That's right, and starfish live in the sea. There we go. Fantastic. So we found where all of the animals live. Well done. That is the end of the Summer Hill Nature Activities Part 3. So today we have learned about different types of water. Rainwater, water from rivers and water from the sea. And we also found some animals and thought about where they live. We will see you later this week for Nature Activities Part 4. Take care.